Hello there! Ever wondered about the mysteries and stories behind the vast world of ARK Survival Evolved? Well, you're in for a treat. Dive in with us as we uncover 107 fascinating facts about this epic survival game. Let's get started. Number 1. ARK Survival Evolved is a unique blend of the survival game genre, incorporating elements of shooting, taming, and scavenging, all set in a world filled with dinosaurs and advanced sci-fi elements. Number 2. ARK is available on PC, Linux, Mac, PS4, Xbox One, Android, iOS, Switch, and Stadia. Number 3. Players are dropped into a vast game space known as the Ark, where they must navigate the challenges of survival, from taming wild creatures to crafting essential tools. Number 4. The world of Ark is inhabited by a plethora of creatures, ranging from the prehistoric dinosaurs we all know and love to mythical beasts and even some futuristic robotic entities. Number 5. Taming dinosaurs in Ark isn't just about brute force. Players must employ various strategies, from tranquilizing shots to offering the creature's favorite food, in order to successfully tame and make them allies. Number 6. Crafting is an essential aspect of survival in Ark. Players can craft a wide range of items, from basic tools and weapons to advanced technological gadgets and massive fortresses. Number 7. Over the years, ARK has seen numerous changes, with the developers continuously updating and refining the game based on player feedback and their vision for the game. Number 8. ARK is not just about surviving against the environment and creatures. Players must also navigate interactions with other players, forming alliances, trading resources, or engaging in PvP combat. Number 9. While the game starts with a primitive prehistoric feel, players soon discover advanced technological structures and items, hinting at a more complex backstory and setting than initially apparent. Number 10. The Ark is a dynamic environment, with a day-night cycle, changing weather conditions, and even seasonal changes that players must adapt to for survival. Number 11. Building shelters is crucial in Ark. Not only do they provide protection from the elements and potential predators, but they also serve as a base of operations where players can store items, craft, and plan their next moves. Number 12. The Ark is divided into various biomes, each with its unique challenges and resources. From dense jungles and scorching deserts to frigid snow-capped mountains, players must adapt their strategies based on their location. Number 13. In Ark, players must be wary of not just the wild creatures, but also the threat of extinction. Overhunting or overharvesting can lead to the depletion of essential resources and creatures. Number 14. Scattered throughout the Ark are various mysterious structures and items, from ancient ruins to high-tech obelisks, hinting at the Ark's deeper lore and the story behind its creation. Number 15. Ark offers extensive player customization options, allowing players to create a unique avatar that reflects their personal style and preferences. Number 16. One of the core aspects of Ark is exploration. With a vast open world filled with hidden caves, underwater trenches, and towering peaks, there's always something new to discover. Number 17. The creatures of the Ark are part of a complex ecosystem. Predators hunt prey, herbivores graze on vegetation, and players must understand these dynamics in order to thrive. Number 18. Ark Survival Evolved offers a completely freeform experience. While there is an endgame for players to aim for, the primary objective is to exist, survive, and interact with the game's vast world however they see fit. Number 19. Survival in Ark is no walk in the park. Players will face frequent deaths, and upon dying, they lose all of their equipment and inventory. However, they can retrieve their belongings from their deceased body, but they must hurry as the body decomposes over time. Number 20. In Ark, players must always be on the lookout for valuable loot in the environment. Gathering materials and resources is essential for crafting and other survival activities. Number 21. Simply collecting resources isn't enough. Players must strategically manage their resources, deciding what to build, what to use, and what to store for later. Balancing immediate needs with long-term survival strategies is key. Number 22. One of the standout features of Ark is the ability to tame. From ferocious dinosaurs to mythical beasts, taming these creatures can provide players with significant advantages in their survival journey. Number 23. The world of Ark is not static. Players will have to adapt to various challenges, from changing weather conditions to the behaviors of wild creatures. Number 24. In Ark, players can build structures ranging from simple huts to massive fortresses. Building provides protection against the elements and potential threats, making 
making it a crucial aspect of survival. Number 25. Crafting is not just about survival. As players progress, they can craft advanced tools, weapons, and equipment that can significantly enhance their capabilities. Number 26. Arc Survival Evolved is not just confined to one map. It spans over 11 different maps, each with its own challenges and ecosystems. Number 27. While Ark has grown tremendously, all of its intricate lore originates from The Island, the game's original map. Number 28. Scattered across the island, players can stumble upon explorer notes. These notes, penned by the first four survivors of the island, are pivotal in unraveling the tales of these pioneers. They provide insights into their identities and their fates. Number 29. The island's explorer notes have been authored by four distinct individuals. Helena Walker, a contemporary biologist from Australia, Sir Edmund Rockwell, a 19th century chemist from London, Gaius Marcellus Nerva, a fierce warrior from ancient Rome, and Mei Yin Li, a young combatant from 3rd century China. Number 30. Both Helena Walker and Sir Edmund Rockwell share a scientific background. They're both deeply engrossed in understanding the various life forms inhabiting the island. However, Rockwell's dark side distinguishes from Walker, aligning him more with Mei Yin, who, despite her warrior exterior, has a compassionate heart. Number 31. Initially, all survivors coexisted in relative harmony, united by the common goal of surviving the island's harsh environments and menacing creatures. But as Nerva's tribe, the New Legion, gained power, conflicts between tribes escalated. Number 32. Rockwell, respected for his intellect, tried to mediate between the warring tribes. However, after meeting Nerva, he saw something in Nerva's mission that resonated with his own dark intentions and chose to ally with him. Number 33. With his experiment stalling, Rockwell decided to delve into the island's caves. In doing so, he became the first original survivor to uncover the artifacts and their enigmatic link to the three obelisks. Number 34. Intrigued by the artifacts and obelisks, Rockwell sought the assistance of a tribe named the Howling Wolves to help him locate the remaining artifacts. Number 35. Helena Walker and Mei Yin Li formed a bond, primarily due to Walker's fascination with Mei Yin's tamed creatures. Even when Walker later collaborated with Rockwell on his scientific pursuits, their trust remained unshaken. Number 36. Mei Yin once came to the rescue of a tribe named the Painted Sharks, which was under threat from the New Legion. With her beastly army, she vanquished the New Legion, but was exiled by the very tribe she saved. During her solitude, she tamed a formidable Gigantosaurus, dubbing it the Demon King. Number 37. Helena Walker had an epiphany about the island, noting its ecosystem was contrary to natural norms. Armed with Rockwell's insights on the obelisks, she procured several artifacts and sought Mei Yin's assistance. Number 38. Together, Mei Yin and Walker confronted one of the towering obelisks, triggering a boss fight. They triumphed over the Megapithecus and faced an ambush from the New Legion upon their return. Number 39. Mei Yin pursued the New Legion to the Tech Cave Portal, discovering that they had found all the artifacts and vanquished all endgame bosses. She rescued Walker, who was imprisoned at the portal, and embarked on a mission of revenge. Number 40. Emerging in what appeared to be a space station, Walker observed planet Earth and the island encased within a space station orbiting Earth. The absence of Mei Yin, Nerva, and the New Legion suggests they had ascended before Walker's arrival. Post-discovery, Walker too ascended to the Ark. Number 41. Studio Wildcard has provided hints about Ark's genesis through a hologram depicting Earth as a desolate wasteland. This implies that Ark may be set in a distant future where humanity has perished, with the Ark stations being the last vestiges of life in the solar system. Number 42. Raw eggs can serve as a nutritious snack for players. However, be cautious when taking them as the parent dinosaurs might not appreciate it. Number 43. In Ark, structures can be conveniently replaced by items of the same type, allowing for easy modifications. Number 44. Using a pickaxe will yield more meat, while a hatchet is more efficient for obtaining hide. Number 45. A player's torpor stat, which indicates their level of unconsciousness, is influenced by their fortitude level. Number 46. Players will notice light beams scattered across the arc landscape. While these beams might seem enticing, approaching them without caution can be a mistake. These beacons are supply drops, but they come with a catch. Only players of a certain level can access the supplies, and the beacons can attract unwanted attention. Number 47. 
beacons can drop blueprints for armor, weapons, and saddles. These blueprints can sometimes offer improved stats compared to their standard counterparts. Number 48. While dinosaurs can consume any type of kibble, they benefit the most from their preferred type. Number 49. Players can stack fence posts and then delete the ones below the top post, creating a floating fence. Number 50. Obelisks serve multiple purposes. They can be used to upload characters and their dinosaurs, and also to summon bosses. Number 51. Dinosaurs can be painted using server commands, allowing players to customize their tamed creatures. Number 52. Among all melee weapons, hatchets inflict the most torpor damage. Number 53. A Dodicarus, when parked next to a rock, will autonomously harvest it. Number 54. Force feeding a Fiomia Stimberries results in a, let's say, rain of poop. Number 55. Players can fast travel between beds within their tribe. However, they must do so without any equipment or items. Number 56. Scorpions can be employed to knock out other dinosaurs, aiding in the taming process. Number 57. When riding a dinosaur, looking to the left triggers a primary attack, while looking to the right initiates a secondary attack. Number 58. Occasionally, Rexes can execute a double attack, inflicting more damage. Number 59. Interestingly, poop can roll down ramps in the game, but eggs cannot. Number 60. Enhancing the melee damage of a dinosaur not only increases its combat efficiency, but also the amount of resources it can gather. Number 61. Dinosaurs that are mate boosted gather resources more efficiently. Number 62. Sitting on a dinosaur boosts passive XP gain and also reduces food and water consumption. Number 63. The Dodorex is one of the more formidable creatures in Ark, instilling fear into the hearts of players. Its presence adds to the game's rich lore and challenges. Number 64. Players who manage to navigate the challenges of the Tech Cave and reach the space station undergo an ascension. This process is pivotal to the game's storyline and hints at a broader narrative in Ark's universe. Number 65. After players ascend, they're introduced to the Ark DLC called Scorched Earth. This expansion adds more depth to the lore and presents players with new challenges and mysteries. Number 66. While Ark and Minecraft share some survival elements, Ark is considerably more challenging. Players who start by punching trees, mimicking Minecraft's mechanics, will find that this can harm their character. Instead, it's better to begin by harvesting berries, grass, and punching down smaller trees and bamboo. Number 67. As players level up in Ark, they receive engram points, which they can use to unlock various items and recipes. However, it's essential to strategize as players can't unlock everything the game offers. Prioritizing what to unlock based on immediate needs is crucial. Number 68. Tools play a vital role in Ark. Players should focus on acquiring essential tools like hatchets, axes, and picks early on. These tools are not only useful for gathering resources, but also determine the type of resource obtained. For instance, using an axe on a tree yields wood, while using a pick results in thatch. Number 69. The environment in Ark is treacherous. From velociraptors to tiny, deadly creatures, threats lurk around every corner. Players should always be on their guard and be prepared for unexpected attacks. Number 70. Dodos, the adorable creatures in Ark, are not just for show. In the harsh environment of Ark, players might need to harvest these peaceful animals for resources. While it might be tough, survival often requires making difficult decisions. Number 71. While dinosaurs are the primary creatures in Ark, the game also features other prehistoric animals and even mythical creatures, adding to the game's diverse ecosystem. Number 72. The island in Ark is a living, breathing entity. It's a persistent world that continues to evolve even when players log out. Everything created remains in place and the world goes on, making every decision and action in the game have lasting consequences. Number 73. Players in Ark are encouraged to join forces with other survivors. Forming communities or tribes allows players to pool resources, defend against threats, and build larger, more fortified structures. Over time, these communities can grow from simple settlements into vast cities. Number 74. Contrary to popular belief, apes in Ark don't need to be set to wander to gather fiber. Players can simply park them atop a bush that respawns, and the ape will collect fiber over time. Number 75. Scuba tanks in Ark can be made to last much longer. Players should only equip them when they run out of breath, use them to fill their O2 meter, and then unequip them immediately. Number 76. 
An interesting quirk about frogs in Ark is that they can't attack underwater. This means players can tame them underwater without the frogs fighting back. Number 77. To spoil a stack of items faster, players can split the stack into smaller amounts. For instance, 20 stacks of one item will spoil faster than one stack of 20 items. Additionally, adding one stack to another changes the spoil timer for one of the stacks. Players manipulate this to either preserve or spoil items faster. Number 78. The ability for players to poo and eat poo in Ark was introduced as a substitute for a suicide button. Number 79. When taming creatures, it's essential to maintain their unconsciousness. Using narcotics or narco berries can help keep the creature sedated, ensuring a higher taming efficiency. Number 80. For players interested in breeding, collecting eggs is crucial. Placing tamed creatures in a pen or setting them to wander can increase the chances of them laying eggs. Number 81. Breeding creatures can sometimes result in mutations, leading to unique colors or improved stats. Number 82. Breeding creatures in Ark can result in offspring with better stats than their parents. By selectively breeding creatures with desirable traits, players can create powerful lines of tamed animals. Number 83. Up to three mutations can occur for each offspring, each of which have a 2.5% chance to happen. This is assuming both parents are eligible to receive a mutation. Number 84. If multiple mutations occur at the same time, they may affect the same or different stats in that particular creature. Number 85. Raising baby creatures and imprinting on them can result in significant stat boosts and special abilities for the creature once it matures. Number 86. In Ark, just like in real life, staying hydrated is vital for survival. Players can craft a water skin or water jar to collect and store water. Additionally, standing in the rain with an empty container can also fill it up. Number 87. The environment in Ark can be harsh, with fluctuating temperatures. Wearing the right clothing, building shelter, and using campfires can help regulate the player's body temperature. Number 88. The bola is a versatile tool in Ark. It can be used to immobilize smaller creatures, making them easier to tame or kill. It's especially useful for catching fast-moving creatures. Number 89. Cryopods are a convenient way to store tamed creatures. They allow players to freeze their tamed dinos, making them easier to transport and reducing the risk of them getting killed. Number 90. When building a base, consider the location's resources, threats, and accessibility. Building near water sources can be beneficial, but also risky due to potential threats. Number 91. Many creatures in Ark have unique abilities. For example, the Dodicarus can roll into a ball for faster movement, and the Castoroides can act as a mobile smithy. Number 92. Using creatures like the Pterodon or Argentavis can make traveling across the map faster and safer. They can also carry other creatures or players. Number 93. Other dinosaurs have even more varied uses. The Ankylosaurus is excellent for gathering metal, while the Therizinosaurus is versatile in collecting various resources. Number 94. Players can create custom recipes using the cooking pot or industrial cooker, tailoring food and drink to their specific needs. Number 95. Diseases can be contracted from various sources in art. Using antidotes or spending time in a quarantine area can help manage and cure diseases. Number 96. Different weather conditions can affect gameplay. For instance, heat waves can cause dehydration, while cold snaps can lead to hypothermia. Number 97. By getting electricity up and running, you can power a plethora of things, ranging from air conditioners to cryo fridges to dino leashes. Number 98. Building defensive structures like spike walls, turrets, and plant species X can help protect bases from threats. Keep your air conditioners safe. Number 99. The Fabricator and Tech Replicator allow players to craft advanced items and structures, providing significant upgrades from primitive tools and buildings. Number 100. Ark features challenging boss battles. Preparing with the right gear, creatures, and strategy is crucial for success and unlocking advanced tech gear. Number 101. Artifacts are rare items found in caves. Collecting them is essential for summoning the bosses of Ark. Number 102. For players interested in PvP, understanding raiding tactics from stealth approaches to full-blown assaults can be beneficial. Number 103. Nights in Ark can be incredibly dark, making navigation challenging. Players can use torches, miners' helmets, or even creatures like the Bald Dog to illuminate their path during nighttime excursions. Number 104. 
Stealth can be a lifesaver in ARK. By crouching or going prone, players can reduce their visibility to predators. It's also wise to avoid traveling during the night when many dangerous creatures are more active. Number 105. When faced with a threat, seeking higher ground can offer a strategic advantage. Many creatures cannot climb, allowing players to attack from a safe distance or to make a strategic retreat. Number 106. Constructing a taming pen can make the process of taming wild creatures safer and more efficient. By trapping a wild creature inside, players can tame it without the risk of it running away or being attacked by other wild animals. Number 107. While water travel can be faster, it's not without risks. Players should be wary of threats like megalodons or jellyfish. Crafting a raft or taming aquatic creatures can aid in safe water navigation. From the mysterious origins of the Ark to the challenges of surviving in a world filled with prehistoric creatures, Ark Survival Evolved offers a gaming experience like no other. Whether you're taming your first dinosaur or building a vast city with fellow survivors, every moment in Ark is filled with adventure and mystery. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.